All praise. That's you. All praise. I praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God the Son of God, God the second person of the Trinity. Can you hear me with the wind here? I'm going to try to tuck you back here. Oh, the devil kicks up the wind, and the devil will keep you. Will interfere from, will send blocks, will send interruptions, will make you sick even. He will send temptations to keep you from just distractions. He'll send Netflix. The devil, he'll get you sick. He'll get somebody in your family sick so you can't uh, have, be at peace to come to a deliverance session. You're going to have to confess your sins. Repent and confess your sins. God's will for you is you stop your wicked ways. Acts 3. 26. Stop, stop. God's will for you is your sanctification. God's will for you is deliverance. One third, one third of what we read about Jesus doing in the New Testament, more or less, was deliverance ministry. And if they needed it back then, how much more do we need it now? All right. And one third was healing, divine healing, miracle healing, miracle signs and wonders healing. And uh, another third, what we read about Jesus doing. Uh, was uh, preaching and teaching and there were other miracles in there too all about miracles what are the miracles for unless you see signs you won't believe uh, that wasn't a negative statement that was just fact unless you see signs you won't believe unless you feel it this is something to experience the love of Jesus the mercy and grace of God the Father through confessing your sins repenting of your sins turning to Jesus in deliverance ministry and you won't be able to get to me without the power of the Holy Spirit Pray to the Holy Spirit to come and assist you to get to deliverance ministry. Nobody can get there. Even if we get to deliverance ministry, it's so hard for people to get to deliverance ministry. Like the devil will take the juice out of your batteries, the thing will shut down, cut down the internet connection. And you have a lot of witchcraft coming against you. He'll turn up the, the Satan, I'm talking about, He'll turn up the witchcraft against you. When you start to approach deliverance ministry. Now, I don't want you to think of this as repercussions, blowback. Uh, what else do they call it? Um, I don't want you to think of that. Well, if I don't start deliverance, I don't have to worry about it. You do have to worry about it. Satan is here to take you out or keep you from heaven. Keep you to forget you know, you keep you from heaven or through your practicing sin, through your addictions, it will keep you from heaven, or he'll take you out, or make you sick, or make you ineffective, or make you miserable, keep tormenting you, no matter what. Sooner or later, he's trying to kill you. Let you have a quote unquote accident. Oh, they died before their time, how tragic. No, they didn't die before their time, they died right on Satan's time or uh, commit suicide. Oh, tragic. I didn't even know he or she was that depressed. Well, they probably won't. Probably demons were in the room. They had something to do with it. More than likely. All right. But not for you. Amen. You're going to live and not die. Psalm 118, 17. And declare the works of the Lord and give testimony about deliverance ministry and how since it's one third of what we read about Jesus doing in the New Testament, how important it is. For everyone to uh, receive deliverance ministry and then since you're supposed to be a temple of the holy spirit then we get you filled then you're a temple of demons we get you filled with the holy spirit temple of the holy spirit and then you will be doing deliverance for other people because you'll be a holy ghost christian you'll get you baptized water immersion baptized in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit to get you baptized into the holy spirit all right a separate baptism, Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Can I get an amen? Can I get a witness out there? Hello, I'm Gary, Lamp of Heaven. If the Holy Spirit is working with you, come for deliverance. It doesn't have to be me, it can be any Holy Ghost Christian. Amen. Call them charismatic. Holy Ghost Christian, filled with the Holy Ghost, can get you deliverance. Actually, any 
believer that uses the name of Jesus Christ can start deliverance ministry on you. Okay? Just in the just the power of the name. And since it's God's will, your deliverance from demons, somebody uses you come into agreement with somebody about your deliverance, start confessing your sins. Just the name of Jesus between the two of you will get things moving, will get things shaking. We'll start breaking down that demonic, speaking about demonic stronghold. I bind your strong man in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the power of the Holy Spirit to the glory of God the Father. Learn enough that even so come Lord Jesus. Father, thank you for sending Jesus through suffering, death, and resurrection. You have bought this person freedom from those demonic assignments and contracts could be your sin could be family line sin generational curses bloodline curses could be witchcraft curses on you what you're experiencing anyway god's will for you is your sanctification and not that your demon torment you're supposed to be a temple of the holy spirit not a temple of demons all right i bind the strong man in you right now the demonic strong man and all the demons underneath it all the demons attached to you and assigned to you and stuck to you and chained to you or cords on you or looking at you any witchcraft to cut the dark forces the witches and the satanists who send out to conjure up these demons and send them out sometimes these things these witches are astral traveling i cut their silver cords amen i pray they have one last breath to repent of their sins and come to jesus at least one last breath God knows if he's going to have mercy on that person or he's going to harden their heart, they're going to die in their sins. Unless you come to Jesus, you're born again. You, you will die in your sins. You don't want a Christian. I assume, I assume you're a Christian. If you're not Christian, we can talk about that too. So there's a baptism into belief in Jesus Christ. There's a baptism called water immersion baptism. That comes when you repent of your sins, turn from your sins. And that's when you're supposed to get deliverance ministry. You turn it from your sins, which means you're confessing your sins, which means you're saying, at least you're saying, you're intending not to keep practicing sin. Oh, Jesus doesn't want you practicing sin. He says, get away from me. I never knew you. I'm going to spit you out. I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. No, 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 no. And then you get the uh, water immersion baptism. And then get deliverance ministry and then you'll get baptized and baptized with fire and the holy ghost and fire amen so holy spirit jump on this person lord jump on this person right here in fire holy spirit draw them to deliverance ministry now the holy spirit can figure out ways to get you delivered if you don't have access to a holy ghost christian but the plan is is that you would submit submit to God which means wash your hands you sinners purify your hearts you double-minded James 4 submit to God then resist the devil he'll flee draw near to God he'll draw near to you practicing sin is not you got to admit practicing sin is not drawing near to God is that Praise God forever. Gary, I'm Gary, lampofheaven at hotmail.com. You want to contact me about your divine healing and deliverance. Now, for divine healing, I can just show you the mercy and grace of God, the mercy, grace, and love of God, and speak divine healing over you. That's not necessarily deliverance, but they go together. So I can speak healing over you, so anybody can come to me for healing prayer. But I can go to anybody for he give them healing prayer. But deliverance ministry is a, a little different, a little more involved, and Satan will do anything he can to torment you, to keep you from deliverance ministry. Interfere with it, block it, sabotage it. Like we have an appointment and something happens, you, can't, you think you can't make it or you're too tired. Oh, you're too whatever, too depressed, too anxious, too, uh, yeah. So if you're getting closer and closer to deliverance ministry, you're probably feeling, <clears throat> get out of my throat, you stupid frog, demon frog. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Touch me in power. Touch my throat, Lord. <clears throat> get out, raspiness. You liar. Satan's a liar. Isn't Satan a liar? Amen. Satan's a liar. Say amen, Satan's a liar. All right.
that you're going to come to a deliverance ministry and what was I saying? Anyway, you get the you get the drift. Uh, come to deliverance ministry. Holy Spirit touches person in power. If you're coming to deliverance ministry and you make it to deliverance ministry, then the Holy Ghost is really working with you, on you, for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Work with this person in power, Lord. Amen. Nobody can come to me for deliverance without the Holy Spirit drawing them to me. You just won't make it. The devil will stop you. Oh, yeah. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else the Holy Spirit will tell you? If I missed anything, I'll be happy to make another video. While I'm still here, I'm going to be pre-tribulation raptured. Amen. Maranatha, even so, come Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. More, Lord. More for this person. They watch this They watch this far unless they're a witch out to attack me and try to sabotage me through this video. I cancel that assignment. Amen. You will fail. You will fail and fall. You will fail and fall and be destroyed. You're a witchcraft anyway. And it's all oh, for the glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, God the Father. Through the Son. I got the name above every other name. I'm coming from a higher place. I'm coming from an advantage, a spiritual advantage point. I'm coming from the third heaven, coming down on these things, and I'm bringing all hell on these things. Every and every weapon from heaven. I got an open armory, man. Now I'm bringing it. Fire and the Holy Ghost and weapons and destruction on the demonic realm. Amen. Go get your... Get, Every demon out is one less in. You must start. You must start. Well, you start with believing. So if you're not Christian, no, deliverance won't work. Well, you come to me and start to get deliverance, we find out you're not Christian. Well, it's very simple. Say, Jesus, Lord, I'm a sinner. I can't get to a perfect Father God in heaven on my own. Jesus. I repent of my sins, I turn from my sins, I renounce Satan and denounce his works in my life. And I turn from him and his demons. I renounce my witchcraft, I renounce, I renounce my evil, I renounce my unclean, wicked ways. Lord Jesus, forgive me, I am a sinner. Oh, wash me with your precious blood, Lord Jesus. I believe that you are God, the Son of God. Save me, Lord. I make you the Lord of my heart and the Lord of my life today. Come, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Amen. All for the glory of God the Father. Holy Spirit, touch me in power, Lord. And get me to deliverance, Lord. I'm gonna, I need you, Holy Spirit. Amen. I could keep going on and on. Be blessed in the hearing and receiving. Don't just be hearers only. Be doers, put your faith with it. Everybody has a mustard, at least a mustard seed grain of faith. Everybody comes with a faith. Man, we can use it. Use it to get to deliverance ministry. Use it to call on the Holy Ghost. So, not just to heal you physically. Not just to heal your mind and emotions. Not just to get you blessed here on earth but the whole package and to get you into heaven when this is all over sooner or later it's all going to be over you're going to step into one of two places uh, you're going to step off this planet you're going to step into heaven or the other place where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth where the worm never dies uh, where the maggots never die they never stop feeding on you torturing and torment and fire and screaming and terrible terrible things and God knows when you're <laughs> God knows when you're going to go. Do you know where you're going to be? Where are you going to wake up tomorrow morning? Do you really know? Really? How do you know that? You need Jesus. Well, praise God. God sent Jesus. It's a finished word. Are you going to receive it? Don't just be hearers only. Be doers of the word. Put your faith in must receive. Put your faith in action. Do something about it with the Holy Spirit with the Holy Spirit get the deliverance thank God praise God praise God praise God from whom 
all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen for you. Amen. Gary, Lamp of Heaven at Hotmail.com or 1 800 Holy Ghosts.